It is the final week of the regular season and we preview the South Dakota Showdown Series presented by South Dakota Corn in this week's edition of Game Day Eve. Hi friends, Tyler Merriam. Welcome inside the conference room here on the second floor of the Stanley J. Marshall Center. All the important decisions revolving around Jackrabbit Athletics happen in this room and when they're not happening, then they let me in here. All right, let's talk about the Jackrabbit football team who will play for a top eight seed on Saturday in Vermilion by virtue of its impressive victory last Saturday. 38-7 the final. The Jackrabbits defeat the University of Northern Iowa. Defensively, what a performance. Forced four turnovers against a Panther offense that, bear in mind, had quarterback Will McIlvain only throw three interceptions total in the first 10 games. The Jacks picked him off three times in that contest. Additionally, UNI was held to a season low 85 passing yards in the Jackrabbit win. Keaton Heidi, meanwhile, was nearly perfect. The true freshman quarterback completed 15 of 16 passes, including each of his first 14. He threw for 196 yards and two touchdowns, and one of those scoring tosses went to Kay Johnson. The junior had another superb day, six catches for 134 and a score. Scary moment when Pierre Strong Jr. went down, but Mikey Daniels stepped up in his place, 21 rushes, 83 yards for the Brookings native, as the Jackrabbits all but guarantee themselves of an FCS playoff berth and now with a win on Saturday would likely be a top eight seed could even sneak into the top four depending upon how everything shakes out and the Jacks will take on their rivals in Vermilion on Saturday afternoon the Coyotes of South Dakota but a strange year for Bob Nielsen's team four and seven overall three and four in the Valley they started the year with three straight losses then rattled off three straight wins actually received some votes in the top 25 poll that following week then they lost their next three picked up an impressive win over Youngstown State two weeks ago and then North Dakota State handled the Yotes last week in Fargo. They had the top passing offense in the Missouri Valley Football Conference, led by the senior signal caller, Austin Simmons. 64% completions, over 2,700 passing yards, and 25 touchdowns to 12 interceptions. He's in the top 20 nationally in virtually every passing statistic, and he's the number two all-time passer in the history of Coyote football. Eight different receivers have at least 10 catches. He distributes the ball very, very well. Number 13, Caleb Vanderesh from California, the junior 44 catches to lead the way. Dakari Allen, number 82, as good of a playmaker as the Jacks will see all year. The senior from Florida has 26 receptions. And they can also do it running the football. Simmons is a threat on the ground. He has the most attempts of any Coyote back, but Kai Henry leads the team in rushing yards. The 5'8", 200-pound junior has a 5.9 yard per rush average and has racked up nine touchdowns. Statistically, the Coyotes have struggled defensively, but it is not because of a lack of athleticism. Up front, led by Darren Greenfield, twice an All-American at the defensive end position this season, 11 tackles for loss. Five of those have been sacks. And number 39, Jack Cochran, flies all over the field. The middle linebacker, one of the top tacklers in the Missouri Valley Football Conference, he's racked up 95. One other man to watch, Brady Scutt, the punter, who is fifth in the country in yards per punt at 45 yards per. That's the story on the University of South Dakota. Again, the four and seven Coyotes hosting the eight and three Jackrabbits in the South Dakota Showdown Series presented by South Dakota Corn. Kickoff tomorrow in the Dakota Dome in Vermilion, which is under construction so the side where the Jacks are will not have any fans behind them. It'll be a weird atmosphere in Vermilion for this rivalry game. Kickoff at two o'clock. You can watch it on Midco Sportsnet or ESPN+. Plus. Better yet, join Brady Hale Scotty Quaz and myself at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon for our pregame coverage as SDSU meets USD in the regular season finale and the Jacks are playing for a top eight seed in Vermilion.